Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for July 30th, 2020 and it is for the sign of Aquarius. That being said, this is a, um, a general reading so it may not resonate to everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever feels good with you and just leave the rest aside. If however you would like to have a private reading, something that is more personal, that is adapted to you, to your situation, please do contact Contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the different types of readings that I may offer you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time to subscribe and to show your support and your encouragement to my channel. So, without further ado, let's begin this reading for you. This is the Alice in Wonderland uh, Oracle deck and let's go see what beautiful message she has. This is Manage to be Glad. Okay, this is all about create your own happiness regardless of conditions. So the queen is almost, you know, burying Alice, imagining her to be happy whenever she wishes, thinking that, you know, the business of being happy is really just simple. As the queen, she feels it is not simple for her, but she wants to manage to be glad. Except, as she says, she cannot remember the rule. Is there a rule to happiness? Is there a way to manage to be glad? Now, when this card comes up to you, there are two possibilities. Now, just as there are two slithy toes in the painting here. Now, the first is that others assume your life is simpler, easier, and that happiness just comes more easily to you. And there is an implication that they have it harder and must struggle to be happy. So, this is not the case at all. Your happiness has been earned. In some ways, you have created it by directing your thoughts and impulses towards the steady creation of happiness. Now, the second possibility is that you must learn how to be happy. Having joy in our lives is not just a good fortune, it's circumstance or temperate. Now, it comes through the careful management of your thoughts and deeds so that we nurture the possibility of joy and move closer to happiness. Do not let others steal your joy or imply that being joyful means that you're not as serious, deep or hardworking as they are. Happiness is often hard earned. We must find it amidst the most troubling of challenges. Alice has learned to do this and despite being lost and everything around her just being so unpredictable, we too can manage our happiness and defy those who claim it as it's more difficult for them. We can all do this no matter, you know, our lot in this lifetime. Your happiness is in your hands. It is something which can be managed, nurtured and grown. Acknowledgement that life can be very difficult and challenging, but you are being asked to grow the happiness you long for out of your magical will and desire to feel joy once again. So please, I do hope that you do listen to this card. I do hope that you do find the joy if you have not found it. Okay, get rid of that negativity and bring in that positivity. When you bring in positive energies, it's going to help you slowly. Okay, you're going to become better and better and better. So that being said, I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many, many blessings. If ever you do have any questions, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. And we'll be seeing each other a little bit later on with another meeting, another meeting, another reading. So I do wish you a fantastic day. And thank you so very much for being there. Many blessings to you.